thanks for coming by. Again, I am Musty Hobbit, and this is the Collection Chronicles Episode 5, uh, my series dedicated to the Microsoft family of consoles with a special emphasis on the original Xbox. Um, and I have a few different purchases I re recently made that I wanted to share with you here today, um, with most of them coming from the Facebook group that I'm a, I'm a part of, the Iowa Retro Gamer Nation, uh, which just surpassed 500 members, uh, which is almost doubled in the year since I've joined. So uh, we're definitely spreading the word, um, which does a couple of things. Uh, it, it does uh, make it a little more challenging in our home area to uh, pick things up, but at least we are sharing finds, things like that. So um, individual that I had dealt with um, first, um, goes by the name of Nick, he uh, had copy of an Xbox game that is, uh, you know, more lately has been, you know, a little more sought after. Uh, probably the second best game, um, at least the second most expensive game that, that I uh, have as part of this uh, video here for you today. But uh, he decided to sell this to me. He wasn't going to keep it, and, and so I was happy to t help him uh, relocated to me, um, and that is a copy of uh, Shenmue 2. And I've never played this, I, I'm really not familiar with the series, which is nice because this version comes with the uh, DVD of the first game, so I, I don't know if that is just cutscenes or what, but at least I, I'm not going to be totally in the dark here. Um, but this was a series that was that was big on the, on the Dreamcast, uh, I never had a Dreamcast, kind of a small window of time to to hit that one but um, but they ended up you know putting this one out on on Xbox exclusively and so I'm uh, excited to try this out at some point um, so we will we will see what what comes from that but thank you um, Nick for that uh, this next purchase actually also came from somebody a different Nick uh, when you get to 500 uh, group members in the Facebook group, you're bound to have more people with the same name. Um, it was a, an actual purchase of about 10 games, about half of them were doubles for me, which is fine. I, I'm really kind of in, in need of some trade bait on the Xbox. Uh, of the games that were new to me, um, I had a few, some of them, the cases aren't fantastic or the uh, they may not have the manual, but they're games that I can probably reacquire. They're probably not that rare. Um, if I needed to, or if I cared to get them complete. Um, so I'll just jump with, with uh, we have NASCAR 2005, and All-Star Baseball 2005. And it's sad that there just really isn't, if you don't have a Sony console, you just don't get baseball anymore um, on in video game form, which is kind of a disappointment. Um, it is baseball season's coming, um, so I am very much looking forward to this year. Um, more on that in the future. Uh, we have uh, The Hustle Detroit Streets, and this is a, a pool game. Interesting. Uh, MX versus ATV Unleashed. There are a number of these uh, ATV type uh, games on both this and the PS2. Um, they sold pretty well, obviously that's why they make a uh, Platinum Hits version of it. Um, and then, this last one actually <laughs> completes a small subset for me, uh, which is a strange one to go for, but I have, uh, with the acquisition of NCAA Football 2006, I now have all of the college, uh, the NCAA, like the EA Sports college football games uh, on the original Xbox. Um, again, nothing to be too proud of. They just, they don't make college football games anymore. Uh, the license and then issues with, I think, um, the NCAA itself and player likenesses and things like that kind of put the, um, kind of put the end to that. So, um, thank you, Nick, um, for helping me not only complete that small subset, but for getting those, uh, to me. I, I appreciate your help and all of that. Um, before I get to the last purchase, I had thought about, um, with some of my recent videos, I, I had some Nintendo Powers that I had picked up, and I, and I was thinking about the nostalgia bump that you get when you look through those types of 
magazines. Um, and so I had looked on on eBay to see what sort of uh, Xbox magazine there that, that were out there. Now, I used to get OXM. Um, I was one of the silly ones who didn't have the subscription. I would go to the store and just pick it up because it had the nicer jewel case for the demo disc. Um, so I found two uh, two lots from uh, on eBay, two, two separate auctions, same vendor. Um, I ended up snagging both of them with a very late bid, um, which really worked out well for me. Um, in total, there's 23 different uh, issues, and I won't just, uh, I'm not going to hold them all up. I think part of the thing with these, and I'll just show you this one here. Um, this was their January 2004 issues. So this was kind of the best of best of 03, really the best of Xbox to that point. Um, and they had Fable on the cover, uh, but unfortunately it also has this big ad for Kill Switch on the cover. So that's that. Uh, I could remove all of these extra ads, but I don't know if I really should. Um, so I'm just going to kind of cope with that for now. Uh, but it's it, it's kind of fun to dive into these. Um, they at that time in my life, I was in my early 20s, and so you can definitely tell that they were catering to my demographic. Um, there are some things in there that, you know, they're not indecent, but they're just, they're, uh, let's just say, adolescent by comparison. Uh, but in total, 23 issues, pretty happy there. Um, one of the sets, though, uh, one of them was it, the entire 2004 run, January through December. Uh, and then there were 11 issues that all had varying, uh, you know, every like, Halo cover that that existed there for for a while. So um, at some point I may highlight some of those, but again, pretty happy to have snagged all of those for not more than $13 with shipping. Um, so I really lucked out. Just means there probably was no one else looking. So good for me happy with that. The last purchase, we'll jump into that, um, it was from Rob at NES Depot. Uh, I've mentioned him a number of times, especially with some of my Nintendo collecting and my Super Nintendo collecting. Um, he's been extremely helpful and he uh, came upon a lot, um, messaged me, let, you know, let me take a look at what was in there before he put that out to additional people and so Rob, thank you for doing that. Um, Four games I ended up getting uh, were ones, and these are all complete. Uh, these are ones that, um, you know, some of these, uh, two of these in particular I'd never heard of. Um, the first of which is Tai 2, uh, the Tasmanian Tiger. I think this is your uh, third person mascot platformer type game, uh, kind of your Crash Bandicoot Tasmanian got to be part of it. Um, we have a copy of The Sims, and I have The Sims busting out, um, so I did not have this one. Uh, I think there's like two other Sims games in there. Again, complete. Um, this one I'm, I'm not familiar with, but it, it's an exclusive to the system, which is always, is always good for me to see the only on Xbox um, sticker, but this is Daisen Ryaku Modern Military Tactics. Uh, I'm not familiar with this at all, other than it looks like a strategy of a sort of war game, uh, battlefield commander type game. So, um, Let's take a look at that. Um, and I know I've seen the, the production company is Chemco, and I know I've seen that somewhere else recently. Um, so I will need to figure out who that is. The last uh, of them is a game. Now, this is actually um, a game that's pretty sought after. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy to have come across a complete copy of this in the shape that it is. Um, and that is a copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded. Uh, now, I so this is complete. Um, manual in good shape, disc is in really good shape as well. Um, and this was, you know, in some cases people will say this may be Rare's last good game. 
and that may be true. Uh, I think the Viva Pinata games may actually be uh, kind of their last ditch effort before they got pushed into things that maybe they weren't intended to do. But um, I know that this game in particular is, is becoming more sought after. The N64 one is, is definitely um, picking up in, uh, in price and in, in just general sentiment of people going after it. So uh, I'm happy to have this copy. Now, the nice thing is when you get a copy that is now complete, I can now take my manual only copy uh, and this is now available. Um, so this will be up for trade. I may bring this along to the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee in the next couple weeks. I, I will be attending that um, with, uh, with my family and, and some other individuals that I know from the Cartridge Club who we've been talking with regularly. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, hopefully I'll have some stuff that's worthy of trade. Um, but that's kind of where, where we'll leave you at this point. Thank you, Rob, for all of that. Thank you again to Nick and Nick for those purchases. I, I really appreciate the support. Um, and to those of you who've recently subscribed, and, and, and maybe this is the and, you know first couple of Collections Chronicles videos that you're right. seeing, I hope that, that there's some nugget here or there that, that, is, that is interesting to you. So... Um, if you have thoughts, I, I, you know, again, this is, um, I'm very open to feedback. If you haven't seen other videos, it, you can, I can kind of attest to that. Um, so I please I encourage you to drop me whatever kind of thoughts you have on this or, or, or uh, and we can go from there. So uh, again, if you ha are not a subscriber and you just stumbled across my videos, welcome. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate you coming back for more. Uh, and if you like to like the video, I like that too. So anyways, I'll let you go. I've been Musty. Take care of yourself. Be good to each other. Bye now.